resolving cell from their court. Cuando yo llame su nombre, de un paso adelante, dígame su fecha de nacimiento. Si usted escucha su nombre, usted va a ser trasladado a otra celda. Está ahí a la corte. Johnny S. Hamlin. Stand in line. Brendan Johnson. Tahir Ibrahim Abdi. New papers. No. I know the record chief. Nigerian came in on a visa in 2008 and has overstayed his welcome. Okay. Sign here. Thank you, officer. Sign here. Thank you. Sign here for your personal items. Thank you. You working with me? No. You are just doing your job. No reason for me to be impolite. Now the policeman who did this to my face, that's another story. You wanna make a complaint? You are phony. I like you. I don't like you. I get out of here. I can go. The charge was reduced to disorderly conduct, which is a civil offense, not a crime. I says until you commit a crime, you are not a deportation priority. Thank you, officer. Okay, get out. Jerry? Jerry! I had no choice to hear. What's happened? There's too many of them. What happened to my things? You know, there used to be an understanding between our kind of code. Oh, I watch your things, no more. you watch mine. That's what we said. Well, I'm sorry to hear, but there was loads of them. All right. So big fellas, too. All right, all right, you're all right. Jerry. You are wearing my boots. What? Those are my boots. They make some good winter boots. I know. That's what I said when I got them. They're my boots now, to you. They're my boots now. Friday will be delight to see you both.
You come back for lunch anytime you want. Good to see you. Are you back? Uh, no. No, I just need some clothes and bedding. My things were stolen. Oh. I left the door to my penthouse open. <laughs> come inside. It's a thousand degrees. You don't want to come back into the program? No. Really, no. I just need some clothes and bedding. I can't just give out the clothes to you. Clothing pickup is on Thursday between 3 and 5. You're welcome to come back then. And we don't give out bedding. It's going to rain this evening. So why not stay here tonight? Come back, Tahir. I shouldn't be here. This is exactly where you should be. Excuse me, can you spare a cigarette? Thank you so much. 
much. Thank you. Have a great day. Excuse me. Can you just wear a cigarette? Thank you. Can I have one more? Hey. Excuse me. Let's wear some change. Thank you. Stop following me. Stay here for a minute. I made you a bed at the end, on your own.
I sleep here. Eat. There is nothing of you. What is your name? Alright now, hit the drum, ready? Huh? Go! Come on! Let's go! Go! Now here, now here!
Yes. Yes, I yes. But I mean, do you really believe? With all my heart. Okay. <laughs> what? Seems a bit unwarranted, doesn't it? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> what? You're a hobo. You're a tramp. So? So he doesn't really seem to have blessed you very much, does he? <laughs> the prophet said, I looked into paradise and the majority of his dwellers were the poor. So? So, in heaven, the poor will have recompense. After you die. <laughs> Convenient, isn't it? <laughs> That's what you say. That's what you say. <laughs> Besides, he blesses me all the time. How so? I can't do that. I mean, why, why would I do that? Because I don't have it. So I can't give it to you. You got something? I got five dollars. Look, you want it? You can have it. I'm gonna do five dollars. So, maybe a few days. Or, you could be nice to me. To hear it! I'll kill you, Stop! Stop. Oh, no! I want oh, money! Oh, oh, oh. You shut up! It doesn't matter how much you owe him. Man, why you give a Because she is my woman. Yeah, for the right price. Oh. Man. How much does she owe you? Uh, half a bundle. What is that? $50, crazy. Yeah. Here. Here it is. 10, 20, 30, 40. It's all the money I have in the world. If I ever see you near her again, you see me again. Not now.
Do you feel remorse? I do. Do you resolve never to commit the sin again? Yes. Have you made restitution for the sin? Made recompense? I can't. The man you beat up? Whatever the sin is, it is a private matter between you and Allah. If your repentance is sincere, you need only ask, Allah forgive me. Allahumma ikfarli. He will forgive. I pray to repent, not for forgiveness. Allah forgives. The objective is to be forgiven, not to be judged and condemned. But you must make a restitution. You must put it right. Did you get what you needed? Uh huh. Yeah. No. Bad day. We'll be hungry tonight. What is it we are waiting for? For God to provide. What? Leave it. Someone's home, that's why the door's open. Rich people are careless, that's why it's open. Hannah. Hannah! Not much, but it's home. We need to leave now. Why? It's someone's house, Anna. But they're not using it right now. What? They're at the beach. Put the drink down. But they have kids. It's summer. They're rich. They're at the beach. The Hamptons. 
Maybe even Europe somewhere. No, no it's... Definitely at the beach. No, Hannah, we can't. To here. We need something good. This is something good. This is wrong. It's dangerous. I want a cake. I could kick in this place. Found it. Gone till September. Okay. But we keep our bags packed by the door. Have you done this before? Mm hmm. What do I do? Not tonight. The night always wins. Start tomorrow. Tonight we celebrate. So I am barefoot, the man's shoes didn't fit. I smell chicken, did you find chicken? I feel unbelievably stupid suddenly. I must look like a zombie Goldilocks. This is where you should say something. Actually, don't, don't say anything. I'm just going to feel potatoes. I forgot how to speak for a second. You are more beautiful than I have words for. Let's not go overboard. Why don't you set the table? I found placemats and everything in there. Just because something is hard to comprehend doesn't mean it's not true. Mm. How old do you think the world is? About four and a half billion years old. Oh, okay, good. So you're not a creationist. Have you ever been to Nigeria? Mm. I am from Lagos. We have skyscrapers and a rail system. You picture me running around in a loincloth? <laughs> okay, fine, so... We've established that you're not a creationist and I am a borderline racist. I need to use the powder burn. for tomorrow to come yet. Come to bed with me.
I used to live in a place like this. I used to sleep in a bed like that. I was married. It's all right, Hannah. I know it's all right. He was a surgeon. He enlisted in the reserves after 9-11. And then someone came to my house and told me he was gone, just like that. The coffee in my hand was still warm and he was gone. He was killed in a terrorist attack on a military checkpoint. I didn't know how to be in the world without him. And now I've made such a mess. I don't know how to be in the world at all. be exactly the same this time. future when I shan't mind about this anymore. When I can look back and say quite peacefully and cheerfully how silly I was. No, no, I don't want that time to come ever. I want to remember every minute. Always. Always to the end of my days. I need to make some money. Will you be all right on your own? Uh, 
Excuse me, I was yes. watching you play. You're, you're good. I mean, it was really simple. Thank you. Well, my pleasure. What do you want? Um, so I was talking to those, uh, those uh, guys over there, and they said that they'd seen you with her. This is my daughter, Hannah. Is this your, is that your girlfriend? I'm not with anyone. I don't know your daughter. I'm sorry. This is really important to me. Would you look again, please, sir? Just, uh, I mean, I'm sure she's changed. It's an older picture, but I would think you could recognize her. Uh, please, just, would you just please look at it again? I don't need to. Those men just took your money. I'm sorry to bother you, but really. No, no. You see, no, I, I, I'm sorry, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. And I'll tell you why, I've been out west and I, I retired out there a few years ago, but every month for the past three and a half years I've been coming back here to look for my daughter. And I can't tell you how many false leads I've got. You know, lots of people lie to you to take your money. But nobody ever said, that guy over there, right, right over there, he knows your daughter. Because that'd be a stupid lie, right? Because then I'd go back and I'd come and get my money. I believe you do know her. So I'm going to ask you a favor. Okay, this is Jake. This is Jake. He needs his mother. Sorry for your trouble. Really, I, I don't know her. If you concentrate hard enough, you can change the colors of the lights. It's not faith, by the way. It's willpower. You would say God can change the colors. I'm saying we can. Try with me. No. Didn't God tell us to try everything once? No, he didn't. Why didn't he? Because some things are just wrong. Mm. So, he covered the earth in highly addictive and highly yummy heroin, but we're not supposed to use it. Right. Despite it growing naturally on his earth. That's right. <sighs> the sneaky little prankster God is. Are you concentrating? Stop now. Shame on you. Excuse me? Shame on you. You have a child. And he has nothing. No mother, no father, and for what? Because you are broken? What are you doing? Look at the photograph. He is alone. You have never seen a boy who looks more alone. Look at him! My grief is many things. It has made me behave in ways that I regret, and in ways that I do not fully understand yet, but the one thing I know it is, is overwhelmingly my business. Talk to me. Tell me, how could you do this? Who are you? Who am I? I'm a woman with a murdered husband, a heroin addiction, and a child that I haven't been a mother to. Who the f are you? You know everything about me. You've left me with no shade. And meanwhile, I know not one thing about you! Not a thing! Who am I? Who the f are you? You don't want to know who I am. I think I do. I come from a place more violent than you can imagine. Yes? I watched my wife pulled from under our bed, raped and murdered while I hid in a cupboard with our son. The whole time, she looked at me and I looked at her, my hand still over my Ibrahim's mouth. After, we ran to the streets to hide in a crowd, but in that crowd, a bullet chose my son. I'd give anything to be with him again. I'd give anything to see my boy again. That's why I don't understand you. I'm sorry, 
I am not finished. All right. At the funeral, a man came to me. And he said, Tahir, Islam is a beautiful flower. But sometimes it needs thorns. The next day, I joined Boko Haram. What? What is Boko Haram? I became a murderer of women and children. I burned churches. I burned schools, police stations, military checkpoints. That's who I am. I watched people burn, and for nothing. I watched people die. Like your husband. <laughs> there is no peace, Leda. <laughs> I recognize that I need something different. I tried to disappear. My son held me in life. What I did is unforgivable. Can you help me get back to him? Who are you? Keep coming back. It works if you work it, right? Oh, okay. Hey, huh? What are you running off to in such a hurry? I got that extension. Oh, good. I didn't want to miss the meeting, but I got to get it to the landlord before he clocks off at 6, otherwise we're going to be out on our ear. No, so I really got to run. All right, you run off. But I want you to think about cheering sometime, OK? OK, I will. See ya. Right, see you. Thanks for coming. Thanks. All right, take care. Thanks for sharing, too. How'd it go? She was incredibly nice. She gave us a 10-day extension while our case is reviewed. Which, she reminded me, would be denied because you don't have your papers and we're not married. But with the storm coming, I don't know. She chose to be nice. She even let me sign for you when I told her how sick you were. You should have seen Terry's face downstairs when I handed him the extension on us. I thought he was going to break his teeth. He clenched his jaw so tight. How are you feeling? A bit better, I think. <coughs> I'm going to make her go the hot water, Steve. So what are we going to do? We need a plan. We have a plan. We're going to get you well. 
and then I'm going to find us a place to move to in 10 days' time. And then in three weeks, I'll finish my internship, and I can get a proper job. So if we cannot find a place in 10 days, I will go to a men's shelter. No, and we you stick go to together. A I just got us 10 days. Why are you trying to get rid of me before I've even tried? I just need to know you are safe. Jeez. Like a grumpy old man. Put your head down. How do you feel today? Did you make your meeting? Mm-hmm. And you really missed though because of the whole extension thing. You can't afford to miss her. I didn't miss. I'll tell you what I can't afford. I can't afford to spend a winter in a women's shelter around a bunch of addicts. Maybe you're ready to go home. Would you come? Not ready yet. When I go home to him, I want it to be for good this time. It's funny. Say I realized I can see the future. I don't mean in a paranormal way. Just hadn't given it much thought in a while. But then today I was able to see myself back with Jake. And I saw him a little older. He was walking down the street somewhere. He was holding hands with you. I saw us at his graduation. And to hear, I saw us all together. Can you imagine? I haven't been able to see past the day in so long. And I just thought about what we would do and where we would go. And it was nice, you know, it was simple. And it felt like there was magic in it. Like I could move the horizon. Mr. Um, Mr. Abdi. Abdi had a chronic asthmatic attack, which is probably due to a combination of the flu that you say he was suffering from and perhaps the dust from the hotel room. It's not impossible that the, the steam you say he was inhaling mm -hmm. acted as a trigger for the asthma attack. It's very difficult to know. It's rare, but we do see that sometimes too. But he is stable now. We have him on a breather mask and supplying him with oxygen and albuterol. And he's also taking a steroid. It's called prednisone. It's to help him breathe. It's, uh, it's one of the corticosteroids. It uh, mimics the adrenal gland and acts as an anti-inflammatory. But he'll be fine, right? No, he'll be fine. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Very well. I just. Uh, Can I stay with him? Um. Are you married? We're together. Um. What Mr. Abdi needs right now is rest. I think it's best if you come back tomorrow during visiting hours. I understand. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Did I miss curfew? Terry! Terry! Miss curfew? No, it's not curfew. Your status has changed. Excuse me? Your status has changed. I have a room for two people. You are no longer two people. The receipt, the extension notice that I gave you, it is signed. For two people, you're only one person. I'm sorry, but I cannot in good conscience give you the room. 
Why are you doing this? Is that room even occupied? You're missing the point, Hannah. Evil minded, you know that, Terry? Whatever happened to you, huh? Whatever happened to make you such a. Whatever it was, I hope it hurt. I hope it wakes you up at night haunted, you sad. Say this! Enjoy the streets, Hannah. Well, go yourself, Terry! Excuse me, miss. Excuse me, miss. Have you been through triage? Sorry, uh, no, I'm not a patient. I'm sorry, miss, but you're gonna have to leave. My boyfriend's here, upstairs. I don't have anywhere else to go. It's past curfew at the shelters. You say your husband. You're next of kin, right? My husband, that's right. Well, okay then. But just for tonight. I don't want to see you here tomorrow night. You won't. But I will throw you out. Thank you. Thank you so much. Did you sleep? I've been trying to sort out the Terry thing. I don't think it's going to work out. Do you have a place for tonight? Yeah. I found a placement. It was hard, though. Everything's booked up because of the storm, so I can't even stay long. But... Get going. You don't want to miss curfew. observing him for three days. He's ambulant and he's well enough to leave the hospital if he continues to take his medication off site. Really? Hmm? Because it's 20 degrees outside. And by the way, you are required to treat everyone regardless of their immigration status. This has nothing to do with his status as an illegal immigrant. We've looked after him well. He has had great care. He is simply well enough Excuse to leave me, the hospital. Excuse me, it's a crock of I'm sorry. You know it. You know it's about a bed. He's not well enough to leave. I'm sorry. What qualifies you to make that prognosis? You don't have to be a doctor to see that he's not well enough to leave. Actually, yes, you do. I spent four years as an undergraduate, four years in med school, three years in residency, and a further two in fellowship, all of which makes me a quote-unquote doctor. And in my opinion, this patient, Tahir Abdi, is fit and well enough to leave this hospital. I got stuck at the hospital. I'm sorry, Hannah. It's just regulation. It was curfew and there was still a line of people. I'm not allowed to hold your bed. I know. Just stay calm. Let me make a phone call, see if I can find you a placement. Tracy? Did she speak to Tracy? I don't know. Okay. Well, go have a seat. I'll go see what I can find out. Okay, I don't know who she spoke to, but we are definitely full to the bursting. But I found you a place at the Tillery Street Women's Shelter. In Brooklyn. Okay, so I gotta get to Brooklyn. Uh, it was the only thing I could find. And usually, 
our van would be here to uh, take you over there, but because of the storm, uh, look, here, you're going to want to take the R to um, J Street. I have good reason to. I do have nowhere to go. Nope. Not tonight. Uh, it's a rough night to be out. It's not fit to walk a dog in. My daughter's about your age. Oh, yeah? What's her name? Listen. I can't let you in here. They have cameras all over the lobby. That's more than my job is worth, but if you go around the block, I can let you in the back and you can sleep in the boiler room. Really? Yeah, really. So I'll meet you around back, okay? Okay, it's a big green metal door. Okay. Couldn't have a gift from your death out there, could we? Oh. I'm sorry. It's not much. Oh, no, it's perfect. <laughs> There's more blankets in there. Okay. So kind of you. Really. I'm beginning to feel my feet again. What are you expecting? Well, now I'm embarrassed. Um, I mean, you're getting the bed for the night. This is New York. It's not a something for nothing town. Look, since you aren't married, the city is going to give you a hard time if you want shelter together. We'll go to bat to get you guys a placement, but for the best chance, we'll need to gather some documents, and that'll take a few days, maybe even a week. The best I can do right now is get you into separate shelters for men and women. Well, you couldn't get into a shelter. They said he was a uh, risk and disturbance with his coughing, so... They sent him back to the hospital who wouldn't take him either. Yeah. I see it all the time. People push back and forth between shelter and hospital, and finally, they give up. It's just not an option. He can't be on the streets right now. That's why we really need a place where I can look after him. Okay. Look, we will do everything we can but there's just no place I can get you both into tonight as a couple. Here's a list of some of the documents we'll need. And in the meantime, I can arrange a place for you to stay tonight on your own. I got you a sandwich. Any luck? Nothing. Not even Abdul had space. You? 
Not even for yourself? No. I couldn't find anything. Not even for yourself, Hannah. I want you to go home. How much that you do? It would be easier for me if you were not here. How much medicine do you have left? Enough. I have enough. I know a place. I know a place we can go and stay together. We are very grateful. Thank you. I'm not so sure this is such a great idea. I mean, there was just one of you last time. It'll be the same as before. We'll be quiet. And you'll be out of here every morning at 5? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. OK. We'll try it. I'd sure like to help you people, but I don't want to lose my job, you know. Where's your hair? Hey, no. Where is it? And the steroids? So this is 50. This will cost you 35 and the steroids are 285. 285. Um you know I lost his insurance card. Is there any way that you could process it? I can't do anything without a prescription. Can you have your doctor call it in? What are the last four digits of his social? Who's that? Jake. Who is this? Is your grandfather? Grand! Hello? Hello? Who is this? Hi, Dad. Hannah? Hannah, is that you? Where are you? You coming home? Tell me you're coming home. I want to come home. Yeah. Well, where are you? I'll come get you. Um, I'm still in New York. It's great. I can be on a plane by tonight. No. No, you don't have to do that. Um, maybe you could just wire the money for a train ticket. Honey, it. You know I can't do that. Tell me where you are, I'll come and get you. I'm clean, Dad. I swear to God. No, I, I can't. I can't. Truth is, I need the money for my boyfriend. He's sick. He's run out of his meds. No, 
No, I, I can't wire you money. I'm not using. You know I'm why. not using, Dad. Well, you've said I that. I swear to God, it's been it's been four months now. You, you've said this before. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I have, and I know how it sounds, but I promise you, this time it's true. Well, why did you lie to me about the train ticket? I don't. I just. He's he's he he needs his meds. He's so sick, and I didn't think you'd believe me. They cost three hundred and seventy dollars. I. Well, if he's that ill, then you should take him to a hospital. We've been. Look, Dad, I, I know you shouldn't believe me. I know that I've given you no reason to. I promise. No, honey, you're lying. You're lying, sweetheart. So. Please, just this one more time, please. This time it's true. I, I want to believe you so much, Hannah. You can. I just need a little bit of money and just a little bit more time, and I'm gonna be home. I give you money, then I'm part of the problem, Hannah. And I can't be part of the problem anymore. I can't help you, Hannah. I love you. I love you. But until you want help, I can't. I want help. help. You. I want help, Dad. Come see us. No, you're lying. Come see us if you don't believe me. I love you. I love you so much. I love you. I love you, Dad. But, no, I love I you. I love I you, Dad. Don't go, please. I can't. I uh, put some cushions that I found in my garage in your place there. Thank you. I need some money for medication. Can you help me? Sure. How much do you need? $370. What does 370 get me? What do you expect for that? I don't want to negotiate with myself, Hannah. You just tell me what you want to do for it, and then we'll come to a compromise. Merry Secular Christmas to you. How did you do this? Never you mind. No, really. How did this happen? It's a Christmas miracle. Did you get the money from Hannah? It doesn't matter. Because it does. I'll be angry. I want us to be happy tonight. You're better. I called my father and asked him to wire some money for a train ticket. Hannah, you should have bought the ticket. I called him back. I told him that I'd lied and explained to him why. He said tomorrow he's going to wire the money for two tickets. I won't go alone to here. I won't. All right. 
tomorrow we will go. We're gonna live, do you? I mean, really, really live. Tonight's our last night with you. You know, there's another storm coming. Going away. Oh. Okay. I'll miss you. I mean it. I'll miss you. Where are you going? I need five hundred dollars. Anna. Some soup? While it's warm, please? Stop. Did you take your meds? To here? Yes. They're not helping? No. Okay, let's go to the hospital. Now. 
And then what? And then you'll get well. Then I go to prison? Don't. And you spend the rest of your life waiting for Don't. me? Don't! We've tried too hard for you to do this. Hana. I want you to go home. I won't leave you. Listen to me, Hana. I have a chance to do one good thing with my life. Let me do it. Lie down. Come, Hana. Please come, Hana. Come. Hana. Lie down. Go home to your family. And I'll go home to mine. Last night, I dreamt. Ibrahim put his hand in the river and got her back home. And the water that swirled around his fingers made its way to Lake Chad and down the river Niger and into the Atlantic Ocean. At that same moment, I put my hand in the East River here, and our fingers touched. His little hand in my big hand. I would like to think I'm going to see my son again and be with Isa. But I am afraid I'm going to hell for the things I have done. Or worse, that you are right and there is nothing. You are the kindest man I've ever known. You're an angel. You're not going to hell. Nothing as perfect as you could exist without a reason. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Allahumma abduka wa abnu Amatika ikhtaja ila rahmatika Wa anta haniyun an azabihi In kana muqsinan fazid fi Hasanatihi wa in kana muqsinan fatajawaz anhu
True. 